Hello, DJ Shears here to introduce to you the latest version of EZ Builder, 2012, May 29th. We have some pretty cool new features. We have a programmable Texas Instruments accelerometer watch. We have multiple camera support. We've also added higher resolution camera if your processor is able to handle it. We also allow you to uh, do some new augmented reality too. So we're going to show you these things. Stay tuned. EasyRobot.com Personal Robotics for everyone. This is the dongle that comes with the watch. It receives the signal that the watch broadcasts. Plug that into your computer. Now under Add Control, specify the miscellaneous folder and choose the EZ Chrono Watch. Under here, you can now choose the configure and specify the ports for the watch accelerometer. I'm going to choose D6 and D7. That's what is configured for Wally's head. I'm going to choose COM port 12 for the watch to receive, because that's the communication port that was detected when I plugged it in. I push start. Now, when I grab the watch, I can turn on the accelerometer by pushing this button right here. Click. Now, I can control Wally's head. If your robot has two cameras on it, you can now select under the camera control a camera device and you can choose your camera device. So I'll choose Wally -E, and there we go. Hello! Now we can also add another camera control. And in this particular case, since Wally -E only has one camera, I'm going to choose a camera built into my laptop. There we go. So now we have two cameras working at the same time. This means you can do tracking of servos and tracking of motion all at the same time. Under the config option, you can now specify the screen resolution, the capture resolution. So you can go up to 640 by 480. Now keep in mind that your processor is going to be taxed when you're doing specific types of vision capturing at high resolutions. So as you can see here, the resolution is greatly increased. And we can specify the frame rate and increase that. So on this powerhouse that I'm using, which is an i7, it's quite smooth and I can get 30 frames per second with proper color tracking. If you visit our website, under Tutorials and the Easy Builder Manual, you can locate the camera device and under there, there's a Glyph PDF file. If you print this out, then you can con configure your software to recognize different pictures. So under Scripts, you can have Scripts execute when a Glyph is detected and under augmented reality, you can now specify a picture that is going to be overlaid on top of the cliff when it's recognized. So I'm going to choose here a couple photos. I'll use this cloud. And I'll use the world. So as you can see, when I put this picture in front of Wally, -E, he sees it as the glyph. And when I select Glyph Detection, he now overlays the image that he recognizes it as.